Uh, people will say, well, we saw Pact of Vengeance, Len's never going to be Kubrick, or Len's going to be Spielberg. But guess what, guys? Uh, I, don't, I never wanted to be Spielberg or Kubrick. I wanted to be Fred O'Leary. I wanted to be Jim Wynorski. I wanted to make movies with big tits and monsters. Just <laughs> I wanted to take a quick moment to promote Len Kabazinski's new movie, Pact of Vengeance, which just won Best Action Film at the Buffalo Dreams Film Festival. Full disclosure, Len is a friend of mine, and I had an incredibly minor hand in some location scouting for this film. The story centers around Zeon, played by the late, great Leo Fong, who gets his old Special Forces team, the Obliterators, back together to take down a ruthless gang called the Black Roses after they put Zeon's granddaughter in the hospital. Kabazinski has been making micro-budget genre films, shooting them almost exclusively in Erie, Pennsylvania for the last 20 years. His movies are grindhouse, scrappy, and always a hell of a good time. They may be low budget, but I'm here to tell you, Len makes great films, and most importantly, he makes the movies he wants to make. He has a great sense of pace, action, and narrative. And he can command a visual. Seriously, this moment from Angel of Reckoning, I'm determined to channel that energy into one of my films someday. Super memorable. Pact of Vengeance is Leo Fong's final film, and it's a bittersweet experience watching him in it. He rocks the screen, though, displaying impressive moves and martial arts even in his 90s. The rest of the cast is filled out with genre and cult film mainstays, including Lisa Neal, John Nickel Thor, the wrestler Diamante, and, and Mr. Kabazinski himself. I would recommend going to Len Kabazinski's Patreon to get an advanced screening for only $5 a month and support Len.